Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the net present value using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. So how do you do this? Well, it's very easy. So let's look at this example here. A company is considering investing in a project and wants to know whether it should accept it. The cost of capital for the company is 10%. The initial investment is 10,000 Rand. The cash flows are as follows and we have positive cash flows from year one to year four and we have 2,000 all the way to 6,000 Rand at year four. Okay, and we asked what is the net present value for the project? Okay, so here's how you do this with the financial calculator. First things first, let's clear our memory. So you press the orange button and then press C and then it has cleared your memory. And what you can see here is that we have one cash flow per year, but by default to this calculator is compounded 12 times per year so we need to change that to once okay because we are receiving the payment only once per year so if you press the orange button and press c you can see it's showing you 12 payments per year okay so you need to change that to one how do you do that you just press one and then you press the orange button and then you press this button with where it's written pmt you can see underneath it's written p slash yr which means payments per year Okay, so you press one orange button PMT and then it has changed it to one. If you'd like to check, just press orange and then C again and you can see it's showing you that it's one payment per year. Okay, so that's fine. So let's start with this one here. We know that the initial investment is put in as a negative because the initial investment is what you are paying out. So you press 10,000 and then for you to put the negative sign, you press here it's written plus slash minus. Now it's negative, and then you press here, it's written CFJ, which stands for the cash flows, and it's the cash flow at year zero, okay? Because you're putting, you're going to be paying this payment now. They're going to be paying this payment for the investment now. And then year one, we have 2,000, so you put 2,000, it's positive, okay? If any of them was negative, you just press the plus slash minus sign, but they're all positive. And then you press cash flow, okay, or CFJ, you can see it's 2,000, and then for the second year, 3,000 press CFJ, you can see it's showing you which, which year that cash flow belongs to, which is second year, and then 4,500 at year three, CFJ, and then 6,000 rand at year four, CFJ. And now we have put in all the cash flows that we needed to put in. Now, at how many percent do we discount these cash flows? It's at 10% because we are told here that the cost of capital for the company is 10%. So all you need to do is just put 10 and then press here, it's written I slash YR. And now it has registered the 10%. And now all we need to do is to compute the NPV. So you just press the orange button and then you press here, it's written PRC. You can see underneath it's written NPV. And there we have it. The net present value is a positive 1,776.52 cents. So what does it mean? Should it accept the project? Yes, it should, because the net present value is positive. Now we've done another, another lesson where we used the table to do the net present value. You'll find the link in the description below for that lesson as well. And you'll also get to know what the NPV is and how it works. But in this case, if NPV is positive, you accept the project. If it's negative, you reject the project. So here, yes, we will accept the project because the net present value is positive. I hope it has made sense. Till next time. Cheers.